Let's calculate ETA with zone description. But first, let's set aside what they taught you in school. In order to work with zone descriptions easily, we need to anchor your memory. Example, if you are in the Philippines, your zone description is ZD minus 8. That's all you have to remember. All the other terms like time zone, GMT, and UTC will be the opposite, which means Philippines is ZD minus 8, or time zone plus 8 GMT plus 8 UTC plus 8. This also means that since Philippines is in the east, the west will be ZD plus. Using this, you can easily avoid confusion. Now, let me drop another memory trick. We all know this map, and Greenwich Meridian is the center or ZD zero. You also know that your country, or in our case, the Philippines, is in the east side, and the east is always advanced simply because the sun rises from east to west. This means that any destination to the right is advanced in time, and any destination to the left is late in time. So the next time you have to solve for an ETA, you can just do this. Belgium ZD minus 2 is somewhere here. Greece ZD minus 3 is somewhere here. I will advance one hour only. Japan ZD minus 9 is somewhere here. Vancouver ZD plus 7 is somewhere here here, I will retard 16 hours. Now let's apply this. From our voyage instruction, our destination is San Lorenzo, Argentina, which is 9,302 nautical miles. We will be navigating at eco speed 12 knots. 9,302 nautical miles divided by our speed, which is 12 knots, is equal to 32 days, 7 hours, and 10 minutes of steaming time. If we depart on August 19th, 0, 0600 hours, our ETA will be September 20th, 1600 hours. But since, as per our mind map, San Lorenzo ZD plus 3 is somewhere here, and Singapore ZD minus 8 is somewhere here. This means the time will set back 11 hours. Therefore, our final ETA is 20th of September, 0500 hours. This is just to easily calculate your ETA, and you won't even have to deal with the international dateline. But when you are adjusting your ship's clock, head over to my previous video about time zones.